ever wondered what the world's biggest loser looks like? Well, don't wonder anymore. You're looking at him. It shouldn't be like this. I mean, a few days ago, everything was falling into place perfectly. You are not going to believe this. Try us. An invitation to a party. What party? This weekend. Prince Karl Christoph is holding it. <laughs> what, with all that Adel Radl crowd? Adel auf dem Rade. Yes, they're going to be there. Everybody will be there. And you're both invited. Cool. Thanks, but no thanks. Hanging with a bunch of junior aristocrats isn't really my scene. Don't mind him. He's useless at parties anyway. <laughs> Listen to the world's biggest wallflower. Are you sure, Ben? I thought you'd enjoy it. A trip to Hamburg and all. Hamburg? Yes, Hamburg. Uh, well, uh, now that you mention it, I have always wanted to see Hamburg. Yeah, you've talked about it for years, haven't you, Ben? Well, well I don't know about years. Or am I getting confused? Has it just been since Sophie went to spend this week there with her aunt? Hamburg? Oh, is that where she is? I thought it was Hanover or something. Yeah, sure, Ben. In that case, it's a perfect coincidence. So you'll come? I suppose a party could be interesting. Plus, let's face it, it's probably time we went and saw a big German city. That's so education-minded of you, Ben. Mum and Dad will be so proud. You just have to promise me one thing, Ben. Which is? Please don't wear one of those ghastly wine shirts. What's wrong with them? There aren't enough days in the week for me to explain. So is it a deal? Well, if you really insist. I do. Great, that's settled then. We're going to Hamburg this Saturday. Saturday? Absolutely not. Impossible. Oh, Daddy, you can't mean that. Sorry, darling, I need you here. There's a big tour group of Americans coming on Saturday. Americans? Charming people, Americans. Friendly, interested, and 100% reliable. We must make a good impression, so I need everyone here to look after them. Sorry, Baron, I meant to tell you, um, they rang this morning to say they've cancelled. Cancelled? They've decided to cruise down the Rhine instead. Last of Americans! Call themselves leaders of the free world? You can't trust them for a second! So, can we go to Hamburg? It would be a great experience for Ben and Sam. They've hardly seen anything of Germany since they've been here. Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so. Thank you so much. Well, 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 actually, there's something you could do for me in Hamburg. Of course, anything. One of our small antiques is being repaired at the shop there. Could you bring it back for me? No problem. It's very precious, so please look after it. Don't worry, Daddy. We'll guard it with our lives. Another email from the Americans, Baron. Tell them to go and jump off the nearest cliff. Uh, actually, they say they'd still like to come here and would the weekend after next be all right. Oh, really? Yes, and they'll pay more to make up for the inconvenience. What excellent people these Americans are, Marcus. You see, I was right about them, wasn't I? Do you mean you were right when you said they were reliable or right when you said they were unreliable? You must stop being so literal, Marcus. It'll get you into real trouble one day. Sorry, Baron. 40 Americans, 100... So great to hear from you. You are? On Saturday, fantastic. I can't wait to see you. Uh, hang on a sec, Saturday. Is there a problem? You're not busy, are you? No, it should be fine, but we'll have to make it in the afternoon. Can you make 3 p.m.? Three's perfect. Should I come to your aunt's house? No, no, uh, I'll be out and about before then. How about we meet outside the town hall? It's right in the center of Hamburg. You can't miss it. The town hall? Got it. 3 p.m. on the dot. <laughs> awesome, can't wait. Bye. Oh, yes. Hamburg, here we come. Wow, what a station. I can't wait to see the rest of the town. OK, it's still early. Plenty of time before the party starts. What would you like to see first? Uh, everything. <laughs> you couldn't narrow that down if it could do. Uh, it says here they've got buses that go around the city. Maybe we could take one of those to get an overview. Sounds good to me. Excellent idea, Ben. I'm full of them. I have to admit, Hamburg looked like it could be a fun town. Oh, okay. And although everyone seemed to be doing exactly the same things people do at home, shopping, going to work, having a coffee, every time I thought I'd got it sussed, something weird would come from out of left field. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you don't see things like that in the burbs back home. Which reminded me of another thing you don't see back home, and the real reason I was rubbernecking my way around this town in the first place. <laughs> we'll be at the town hall soon, right? About four more stops. 
Why are you so interested in that? I don't know. Thought it might be historic. You know, something really German. There wouldn't happen to be a really German girl there, too. Maybe someone we know. <sighs> Honestly, Sam, sometimes you are so lowbrow. Yeah, sure, bro. We have to get our skates on to make it to the party by 2 o'clock. Is it far from here? No, but we still have to pick up Daddy's antique. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, here's an idea. Why don't you guys go to the party and I'll pick up the parcel and meet you there later. Are you sure? Positive. That would be great, Ben. Here's the address of the shop. It's the next stop after this one. Sam and I will get off here. Ready, Sam? Sure I am. Oh, and Ben, be careful with that parcel. Daddy says it's rather fragile. Don't worry, I'll treat it like a baby. Ooh. <laughs> As much as I love these cobbled stone streets, they really weren't made for shoes with heels, right? Just take them off till we get there. Good thinking. Ah, <sighs> oh, bliss. <laughs> Only two more blocks to go and we're there. According to this, the antique shop's about 200 metres that way. Should be a piece of cake. I'll survive half of your Maybe there's a few more differences to this town than I first thought. There it is. Wow. I'll say one thing about Carl Kristoff. He knows how to throw a party. <laughs> so, are you ready to rock? Just try and stop me. <laughs> then let's check it out. Oh, how does my hair look? Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, what do you think? A fun place, yes? Thanks. Yeah, it's great. And how about these Hawaiian shirts? <laughs> so bad they're cool, right? Hilarious. What a great idea to have all the guys wear one. Actually, I chose them because I knew Ben had one. Didn't want him to feel out of things. <laughs> Are you sure he's coming? Oh, he's picking up a parcel for my father. Won't be long. So much for a small family heirloom. This box weighs a ton. Hey, I love this song. She's a born performer. Sings all day long. Is she good? Better than good. She has her own band with a couple of friends back in Australia. Well, fantastic. In that case, we have to hear her. Hey, Sam. Lily says you're a singer. Can we ask you for a song? Me? <laughs> Sorry, no way. Come on, Sam, don't be shy. Please, I already have a microphone set up. Oh, I couldn't. Your friends didn't come to hear me sing. I'd probably empty the place. I'll take that chance. But... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not taking no for an answer. Okay. I want you to meet a friend of mine. She's here all the way from Australia where she has her own band. So who wants to hear her sing? She's a real shy baby, though. So come on, let's give her some encouragement. Sammy, 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 Sammy. Now for the most important business of the day. Meeting up with the cutest girl in Germany. Whoops. What is this thing, anyway? You can't be serious. What you are, mate, but you are definitely one of the ugliest looking things I have ever seen. Next stop, Town Hall. Next stop, Town Hall. Quarter to three. Sophie said three o'clock, so I'll make it with time to spare. Excellent. 
You better stay in the box, though. Don't want to freak out Sophie, do we? Just get your flow right, kids. the world's biggest loser. I've just lost the antique I was supposed to guard with my life. Even worse, it looks like I've lost the only girl I ever really cared about. So, so I guess there's only one more thing to lose. My dignity. Here it goes. Stop! Stop! Ben? Stop! Personally guided tour from a local expert. What expert? A very pretty one who just happens to be visiting her aunt in Hamburg. Of course, how stupid. <laughs> Still, maybe we should just call him to confirm he's okay. We could, but his phone card ran out yesterday and he hasn't had time to get a new one yet. He really is a walking disaster sometimes, isn't he? No, he's a walking disaster all the time. <laughs> Thanks again for a song, Sam. It really was <laughs> fantastic. Well, at least your friends are still here. And it's time for both of you to join them. Come on, <laughs> let's dance. <laughs> Why do things like this always happen to me? I'm not that bad a person. Why can't bad luck get shared around more? Oh, it's not fair. Wrecked. Something's happened. Ben, what's wrong? And where's the antique? Quick, gotta call the bus company. It's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? <sighs> ben, what's happened? No luck. The bus company hasn't found it. What will we do now? No idea. Oh, Ben, how could you have been so careless? I'm sorry, I got... Distracted. Distracted? You must have had a complete meltdown. How could anybody lose a Volpertinger? A what? It's a monkey sort of rabbit with wings and a horn. If only that's all it was. It's a von Hasenbuch heirloom and its value to the family is huge. Teddy's gonna go ballistic. Um, look, I know it's not quite the same, but couldn't we just buy another one somewhere? What do you think, Lily? I don't like her chances. But I can't think of anything else, and there's no way I'm going to face Daddy empty-handed. Pretty amazing neighborhood. Oh, it'll be amazing if there's anyone around here who sells those Walpert thingies. There's a kind of second-hand shop around here somewhere. If only I could remember... There! <gasps> Stick a pair of wings in it and the horn, you'd never tell the difference. Are you kidding? Seriously. A couple of hours' work and a bit of glue, I could turn this thing into a Walpole What's It, no problem. I don't know. 
Well, we could keep looking. No, we can't. We have to be on the train in an hour. Get it, Lily. I'll pay for it. It's my fault. I promise I can make it look like the real deal. I guess we have no choice. But it's all over to you, Ben. I'm not taking the fall for this. If it doesn't work out, you'll have to own up. Absolutely. We'll take it. I'm up the proverbial creek without a paddle, aren't I? It's gonna be a challenge, all right. I've got Mummy to take Daddy to the movies, so we're off the hook for tonight. Right. That's a good start. I think. But by tomorrow morning, we need one Volpertinger in mint condition. It'll happen, OK? Marcus, would you mind giving Ben a hand? I think he needs all the help he can get. I'm not really an antique restorer. That's all right. None of us are. What's there to lose? If you're game, I'm game. <laughs> Actually, I'm not game, mate. I'm desperate. Well, let's leave them to it. Good luck, guys. Um, any idea where to start? Okay, first stop, the chicken coop. <laughs> These feathers are making me itch. <sighs> what do you think? Do you really want me to tell you? It's not exactly Michelangelo, is it? Not exactly. Oh, what's the big deal with this Wolper Whooper anyway? It's not even a real animal. So Lily hasn't told you what this means to the Van Asenbergs? Not really. Other than it's obviously one of the Baron's pet toys. It's a lot more than that. Come. Hey, that's it. Exactly. The Voppertinger itself. So who are the dudes in the painting? The guy on the left is the Baron's great-great-grandfather, Baron Friedrich Charles Philipp von Hasenburg. Right. And who's the party pooper holding the vodka pooper? That's none other than the Kaiser himself. Kaiser? What's a Kaiser? The king. He had the Wolpertinger made by his favorite taxidermist and presented it to the Baron as a symbol of his great trust and respect. So I guess it's pretty important then? It symbolizes the von Hasenburg's place in the nobility. It means everything to the family. Everything. Oh, boy, I've really stuffed up, haven't I? You've really stuffed up. All right, Ben, show us what you've done. Ta-da! Surely you can't be serious. Is it really that bad? That's not a Volpertinger, Ben. That's a cross between a drowned rabbit and a plucked chicken. Sorry, Lily. We did our best, but there's nothing for it. I'm going to have to tell the Baron. Wait, we can't give up yet. I can avoid Daddy for an hour or two longer while you give it another try. Please. You really think you can do anything? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe a miracle will drop down from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. To death. What are you doing on the floor? Shh. I'm trying to avoid Daddy. He wants to see the Volpertinger. Is it ready yet? I think we have to face the truth. It's a hopeless cause. Okay. Tell Ben to meet me outside Daddy's office in 10 minutes. I'd better be there with him. This isn't going to be nice. Ready? Not really. I thought you were bringing the Wolpertinger. Well, uh, here's the thing, Baron. It's all down to me. I did it. Did what? What are you talking about? Well, I collected it. Good. Thank you. But I was also the one who... Who? What? The one who... Delivery for you, Baron. Oh, thank you, Sophie. I, I wasn't expecting anything.
What an excellent piece of restoration. Worth every penny. But why do you bring it, Sophie? I thought you said you collected it, Ben. Um... Yes, I did. I... It came by courier this morning. It was here when I arrived for work. Ah, I see. That was what you were about to explain, right, Ben? Well, um... Arranging for it to be hand-delivered was an excellent idea. Safe, secure, and much better than bringing it on the train. Well done! As long as you're happy, Baron. <laughs> so, that Rupertinger, that's why he ran off in Hamburg? Uh, yes. It must have looked pretty weird, but I had no choice. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to stand you up. That's okay. Lucky the Baron's address was on the box and that somebody at the bus company still has a respect for nobility. Yeah, I guess so. Something else happened too, didn't it? Something else? Come on, Ben. You and I know each other too well now. Something's on your mind, right? Yeah. The truth is, I was a bit freaked at the time, you know, seeing you with that other guy. Other guy? Yeah, I, I mean... It was obvious you two were pretty friendly. <laughs> I get it now. The reason we look pretty friendly is because we are pretty friendly. Right, fine. <laughs> ben. What's so funny? That other guy is my cousin. He borrowed some DVDs a few months ago and was just returning them. <sighs> oh. I had arranged to meet him at 2.30, which is why I told you 3 o'clock. It seemed like the perfect arrangement. And if I wasn't such a lunkhead, it would have been. Oh, Sophie, why do you waste your time on an idiot like me? I like lunkheads. I get to feel clever without even trying. <laughs> Thanks very much. My pleasure. Well, I, I better get back to work. See you later. You bet. Funny, isn't it? Just when you think you're the world's biggest loser, suddenly you're a winner. And it's all because someone I've never met, in a city I don't know, is nice enough to send a parcel to someone they've never seen. The world works in strange and mysterious ways, right?